What's going on Z Nation? Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to every single one of you. And today guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the LA Clippers tonight. But before anything, like always, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. And guys, like always, please be sure to like all my social media sites, uh, ZSPN on Facebook and ZSPN underscore sports on Twitter. Um, guys, I really appreciate the the amount of support and love you guys give me on this channel and throughout my social media sites. We have reached 1,000 likes on Facebook, ZSPN. Uh, still struggling with um, the, uh, the Twitter account uh, with only 32 followers. But you know what, guys? Uh, this is how, uh, you know, small little YouTube channels, uh, you know, particularly do when it comes to uh, getting started. This is my third year uh, starting, uh, you know, doing this uh, this channel. Uh, and I really appreciate the amount of support and love you guys gave me on this channel. Honestly, guys, I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys for showing me the support uh, for this channel and liking all my social media sites. It is gratefully respected and obviously i really do appreciate every single one of you for subscribing liking my videos sharing my videos and also the comments as well i really appreciate the comments as well because it kind of shows me how um how appreciative you guys are when it comes to my opinions and my thoughts about the Los Angeles Lakers and right back at you. I really appreciate your opinions when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers uh, as well. But uh, without further ado, guys, let's just get right into it with this Lakers loss that they suffered against uh, the uh, the LA Clippers uh, on Christmas Day. Uh, there was a lot of things that went down that didn't go to according to plan. Uh, I'm here to tell you guys the Lakers were the better team. Okay. I'm you guys might be shocked by my response, but it is the truth. Okay. From the first quarter going into the third, the Lakers were on their A game. And you can make the argument in the fourth quarter the Lakers managed to take the lead. But unfortunately when it came to maybe like six or five minutes left into the game you know, obviously the Lakers just fall under the pressure, as you can see uh, with the, the tweet that Magic Johnson put out. He basically put it out there. Uh, that's sort of what I'm trying to say here. I mean, the Lakers played well, but when it's all said and done in key situations like the fourth quarter, the Lakers just, you know, fall under the pressure. And um, we cannot really say who was to blame here. Uh, obviously, some people are saying it's LeBron. Some people are saying it's Danny Green. But I'm here to tell you guys, it's a kind of a team effort here. I mean, they just they didn't bring so much, uh, you know, they didn't go on the offensive attack just to basically obliterate the, uh, the, Lo the Los Angeles Clippers. But, you know, it is, uh, you know, it's just basically what it is, guys. And uh, obviously, there's a lot to blame. Some people are saying maybe the coaching, but I honestly think, guys, it was just the, the lack of the offensive attack. The Lakers just could have uh, just basically ran into the, you know, to the rim and just basically scored then. But there, there was some mistakes that were made. And I personally, guys, uh, you know, the Lakers, even though they lost, I truly believe that they were just a much better team. I mean, you know. From Kyle Kuzma scoring 15 points in five minutes in the first quarter to basically boost the Lakers, uh, you know, lead to uh, to huge uh, to huge heights and uh, leading from the uh, the fourth quarter, uh, the Lakers continue to score then and uh, obviously in the third they just managed to uh, to to keep the lead. Um, but unfortunately, when it came to the fourth quarter, like five minutes left, they just falled under the pressure. And uh, with this loss, the Lakers are now on their, uh, their fourth four game losing streak. And uh, with, uh, I believe, six losses and I think 24 wins. And um, guys, when it's all said and done, I mean, how should I say this? You know, 
there's a lot to blame here. But I honestly think, guys, um, the Lakers did play their their best basketball against uh, this Los Angeles uh, Clippers team. And uh, it kind of puts things now into perspective of what to expect from the Lakers when it comes to facing certain teams like the LA Clippers. That they can beat certain teams like the LA Clippers, like the Bucks, like any sort of team that's way on the top of the list for the Lakers when it comes to uh, facing a difficult pass, uh, difficult games like this. And uh, honestly, uh, you know, this is just one of them. And the Lakers continue to, uh, you know, show some glimpse that they can beat any sort of team. But when it comes to certain situations like this, it kind of, you know, hurts the Lakers at times. And um, honestly, guys, when it's all said and done, you know, let's just, you know, talk about the, the, the stats when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, they played very well out there, uh, you know, starting from uh, Kyle Kuzma, 25 points out there tonight uh, with his 15 point, um, you know, you know, scoring in the uh, first quarter. Uh, and had four rebounds, so a solid, actually a great performance for Kyle Kuzma. And guys, I said it once and I said it again. When it comes to Kyle Kuzma, he shows up at key situations like this. When he's healthy, he will give us a great performance on a nightly basis. And if we have this type of Kyle Kuzma, I'm telling you the Lakers will will, will win wins. Uh <laughs> That's a weird combination. Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, it's when it's when it comes to Kyle Kuzma, you know, he's just very gifted. And guys, there's a lot of potential in this man, and hopefully down the line we'll see some greatness out of Kyle Kuzma uh, throughout this season. But you know, still remains to be seen uh, with the rest of the Lakers squad if they are ready to go or not. But uh, um, when it comes to their abilities. But um, so great job tonight for uh, Kyle Kuzma. Uh, Anthony Davis had a solid performance out there. I believe he had 24, maybe 26 uh, points out there tonight. So uh, he showed up uh, on Christmas Day. So great job on his end. Uh, guys, let's just real quick talk about LeBron James. Uh, he had 24 points, but uh, I, I think he did. I think maybe he was... 23 or maybe 24 points out there tonight. But I think, guys, uh, his performance was not uh, to the best of his ability uh, for many reasons because I, I believe, you know, he did not score for like almost uh, in, in, the, in the like the uh, second half. So uh, obviously all that scoring basically started for him in the third and fourth quarter. And uh, obviously, you know, for many reasons, guys, I think LeBron, you know, when it's when it's all said and done, I mean, he did re-injured his groin. And um, when it's all said and done, I mean, he uh, basically said that to a reporter and uh, it's all because of Patrick Beverly. Guys, I hate Patrick Beverly with all my being, okay? The guy continues to crawl under my skin when it comes to his his uh, his approach in the game and how he continues to taunt players. And even though I personally believe, you know, when it comes to certain things like that, the, the refs kind of ignore that. And I still think that, you know, there were some moments in this game where uh, when it comes to the fouls, it should have uh, gone to the to the Clippers, and especially in the in the final seconds left into the game in the fourth quarter. That you know, there's there could have been a chance that the Lakers uh, would have uh, taken this win if it wasn't for uh, LeBron touching it last uh, between uh, Patrick Beverly and you know just basically guarding LeBron at that time. So um, um, when it's all said and done, you know, it just would have it would have been a uh, a much better scenario for the Lakers at that point, but uh, unfortunately, it just wasn't the case. And uh, honestly, guys, um, to give some credit, you know, the bench stepped up tremendously, and that's all because of Kyle Kuzma. Uh, Danny Green. Some people are saying that you know there was some problems with Danny Green at in this game, um, and honestly, it it showed. But I don't think, guys, we should blame. 
the 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 game on the Lakers and the the players because they tried to play very great Lakers basketball out there tonight. I mean, I'm going to be honest, it, it kind of showed. But at the end of the day, you know, when it's all said and done, uh, the the Clippers just played very well in the fourth quarter. I mean, that's basically what it is. The Lakers just didn't try enough, and that basically led to this loss. And I don't think, guys, we should dwell on this loss, to be honest with you. And um, when it's all said and done, you know, the Lakers will bounce back from this because I, I believe this next week is going to be a light schedule for the for the Los Angeles Lakers. And we're not even so sure about uh, the, uh, the, the injury that occurred to LeBron re-injuring his uh, groin if it's so, if it's uh, serious enough for him to basically take a load management because honestly guys when we have a healthy LeBron James he will bring the best uh, to this Los Angeles Lakers team and uh, um, honestly if it's a huge issue like it was last season when he uh, injured his groin ironically on Christmas Day, uh, I think it's gonna be a much better, um, much better for the Lakers to just let LeBron just sit out for him to basically uh, come back healthy for him to be ready when it comes to uh, the playoffs. And uh, honestly, you know, I just think it's just much better for him because it's even though it's gonna be a light schedule. I just hope that players like Kyle Kuzma, Anthony Davis, possibly Avery Bradley, and the rest of the Lakers squad uh, just step up their role and hopefully uh, play the best uh, best basketball of their abilities out there. Then uh, we can see the Lakers potentially, uh, you know, win us some games here and there, possibly without LeBron James. But it still remains to be seen about that. But uh, that's my, that's my own personal opinion when it comes to. That sort of scenario. But um, honestly, guys, uh, like I said, I think the Lakers should... Um, sorry, when it comes to uh, with this loss, I we should not dwell on it. Uh, the Lakers will basically break that. And hopefully, when it's all said and done, uh, the Lakers just uh, come out of this uh, and hopefully um, turn things around uh, for the better. So guys, please uh, comment down below. Like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I know it's not a a type of um, type of win that the that Laker fans sorry this sorry this loss my apologies this loss that Laker fans uh, did not expected uh, to get because obviously the Lakers played very well from the first quarter to the third and that basically just fell apart in the fourth quarter but like I said. The Lakers should we should not dwell on this Laker fans and uh, honestly we should just move on and hopefully the Lakers uh, bring their A game when it comes to playing against the uh, the uh, the Dallas Mavericks on Sunday and um, hopefully the Lakers just bring the A game and you know if if the injury to LeBron's uh, re-injured groin is not so serious we could expect him to play Sunday but I. Kind of think that he's not going to play, guys. So expect that to basically happen. Um, hopefully, uh, n not hopefully, but I mean, like, uh, expected to, for him to not play. Possibly, um, you know, once, you know, he's 100% again. So uh, we can all expect maybe Anthony Davis to step up his role and maybe Kyle Kuzma. So um, things need to change. Uh, when it's all said and done, uh, some people are saying maybe a trade might happen, but uh, I still think uh, we should not go to drastic measures to trade someone because obviously, like like I said, injuries played a huge role for the Lakers uh, on these uh, four game losing streaks. Uh, if you really think about it, guys, the first game, uh, you know, against the Indiana Pacers, um, you know, Anthony Davis, uh, you know, did not play. And uh, when it comes to the second game, everybody was was ready to go, but obviously Anthony Davis was not 100%. So that loss uh, was was also a reason. And then when it came to the third one, obviously LeBron did not play, and um, you know the Denver Nuggets beat the, the Lakers uh, in that third losing streak at that point. 
And uh, obviously with this one, it was all because of the fourth quarter. You know, the Lakers just wasn't able enough to uh, finish the game on a positive note. So uh, obviously for many reasons, um, we should not dwell on this. And hopefully the Lakers just turn this around. So guys, please uh, comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel. Um, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all that good social media stuff. And guys, like always, like all my social media sites, uh, Facebook ZSPN and uh, Twitter uh, at ZSPN underscore sports. And guys, it would be much appreciated if you subscribe to the channel, share my videos, tell your friends, your your colleagues, your Laker buddies, uh, just anybody who just loves talking about the Lakers and appreciates uh, the Lakers, uh, please um Subscribe to the channel and share my videos, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Go Lakers, and Laker fans, just stay positive, all right? We should not uh, dwell on this loss, and hopefully just pray for the Lakers to just turn this around for the better. And uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to every single one of you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.